I'm standing here with history, um, and the reason why I stand right here, sir, get over here. And the reason why I say history is because of the NACP. I was reading a speech the other day uh, by, uh, I believe his name was Walter Houston. Okay. Yes, uh, yeah. Our attorney from back, yeah, in the day. from back in the day. Yes. You know, uh, uh, to the YouTube audience and uh, Facebook and wherever this is going to wind up, you know, Walter Houston could pass for white. Yes. And yes. he used that as an instrument. You know, that's how he traveled in and out of the South. Yes. Without getting lynched. Yes, without a doubt. Yes. In fact, in, in part of the speech, they even said that someone offered him a gun to shoot some of us. <laughs> to, to shoot some of us. <laughs> right, 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 right. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Bruce Morgan. I'm president of the New Brunswick Area Branch NAACP. Bruce, excuse the fact that we can't get your whole structure at this point. You know, um, we're in a tight I squeeze. I understand. You mentioned earlier that the turnouts at the elections is not what it should be. It's been abysmal, to put it mildly. Abysmal. Yes, it has. So after the Barack Obama election? It fell right off. I was running the statistics for Barack Obama, and we was running in the same two wards. Sure. Running 60 to 80 percent. Wow. And we dropped down to less than 25, 27 percent, 16 percent. Wow. Well, what is it that we don't keep the pace up? Have we? Have we grown complacent, was it just putting a president in office, was that the only thing? I think, um, and what the NAACP is doing is giving classes, we're teaching people about the importance of voting and the importance of election, because people got in the fervor of Obama, but they didn't follow Obama's lead, because sure. Obama also said, if you notice, when he was running, this is just the first step. Sure, and sure, everybody sure. everybody fell off because it was a, a, a feel good thing. Sure. But I, do, I run these statistics regularly, and we have to vote. These politicians listen to those who vote. Sure. Even if you don't vote for them, if you're registered to vote, they, they will try to court you. Yes, 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 yes. So it's very important to get people out, get people motivated again, and let's stay the course. Exactly. I think that, that that's one of the things we don't stay the course on things. No, we don't. We can't stay the course. Our we got to go out in front of the man. course now. We got to go out in front of the course. In front. All right. We've been complacent for too long, and with this situation here in New Brunswick. It's a shame, you know, after the first one, it should have been too many. Sure, sure, sure. Can you tell people how to contact you? Please look at the camera at the time. You can reach me at the New Brunswick Area Branch NAACP. Our telephone number is 732-828-5363. Or you can reach us on New Brunswick Area Branch, New Brunswick Area NAACP at gmail.com. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All right. On it.